Nelson Ellis, the actor who starred on HBO's True Blood as fan favorite Lafayette Reynolds, struggled with drug and alcohol abuse for years. That battle ultimately cost the 39-year-old his life when he died Saturday of heart failure. Now, days after his death, Ellis' family agreed to release to The Hollywood Reporter, through his manager Emily Gerson Sains, the exact circumstances around the beloved actor's passing. His death was met with a massive outpouring from friends and fans around the world, who were shocked and heartbroken over the news, including castmates and colleagues in Hollywood. In an effort to help others who may be struggling with the same addictions that afflicted Ellis, his family released the following via Sains to The Hollywood Reporter. Nelson has suffered with drug and alcohol abuse for years. After many stints in rehab, Nelson attempted to withdraw from alcohol on his own. According to his father, during his withdrawal from alcohol, he had a blood infection. His kidneys shut down, his liver was swollen, his blood pressure plummeted, and his dear sweetheart raced out of control. On the morning of Saturday, July 8th, after four days in Woodhull Hospital, Nelson was pronounced dead. Nelson was a gentle, generous, and kind soul. He was a father, a son, a grandson, a brother, a nephew, and a great friend to those that were lucky enough to know him. Nelson was ashamed of his addiction and thus was reluctant to talk about it during his life. His family, however, believes that in death, he would want his life to serve as a cautionary tale in an attempt to help others. HBO said in a statement on Saturday, Nelson was a longtime member of the HBO family whose groundbreaking portrayal of Lafayette will be remembered fondly within the overall legacy of True Blood. Nelson will be dearly missed by his fans and all of us at HBO. And True Blood creator Alan Ball said, Nelson was a singular talent whose creativity never ceased to amaze me. Working with him was a privilege. For The Hollywood Reporter News, I'm Paul Costabile.